Welcome to Outback Pollux. Um, it's Easter and it's week four of isolation. I still haven't shaved. I'm gonna keep going until isolation is over. It's, uh, it's getting really itchy. But again, what to do during isolation. And we've got a very awesome video coming up. So make sure you subscribe, like, and share because it's gonna be pretty interesting. <laughs> um, but we thought we'd make another vodka video, how to make um, raspberry vodka. Now I love um, uh, sweet flavored vodkas. Um, whenever I go to Poland, I, I buy out all the aisles of Soplica. Link above to, to us tasting all of that um, while on the farm. Um, but today I'm gonna make raspberry flavored vodka. And it's actually really, really easy. Just as simple as our caramel fla salted caramel flavored vodka. Um, you'll just need some frozen raspberries, just nice cheap ones from Coles is fine, uh, or fresh ones if you've got them. Vodka, I used the Marlboro brand again, it was on sale so it was really really good, um, very smooth and tasty, right Mark? It is indeed. Fantastic, so as per usual we're going to need to taste everything, so we've got the shot glasses. I got some raspberry cordial Bickfords and um, raw sugar um, because you know be healthy raw sugar <laughs> none of that white processed stuff a beaker for mixing everything the neutral bullet because it's just going to blast it all together nice and finely this time we're not going to use a decanter we're actually going to use a jug and the reason why is because the raspberries will leave a lot of pulp and you want that pulp to sit at the bottom. So when you're pouring your shots, it's just nicely sitting there and you can scoop it out with a spoon, have it over ice cream or just eat it or put it in a glass with some ice. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. It's actually, as I said, very, very simple. It's very sweet. Um, so again, moderation in regards to how much sugar you use and how much cordial you use as well. The cordial is just to give that extra bit of sugary taste. All right, how's everyone doing during isolation? I'm going crazy and it's Lumi's 11th birthday today so happy birthday Lumi. Thank you. Nazdravia. Nazdravia. Ah, that's good shizzle in the nizzle. And usually raspberries, these frozen raspberries are used for cakes and things like that. Not today. So we'll pour the bottle in. This time I'm only on a good going to do half uh, because there is a lot of raspberries here. So we're just gonna mix half first. To start with, spoonful of sugar heaped spoon, this is a tablespoon, a little bit of cordial, not a lot, I would probably say that's a full spoon as well, and then just lock it up, and then blast it, give it a good shake to get rid of the sugar, and blast it again. And you'll have this like a thick uh, shake that if you pour it in a fitness shake bottle, you can take it to work, shake it around, drink it, think people will think you're having a fitness shake. <laughs> Once again, my manager shouldn't be watching this. <laughs> and just pour it in the jug. Well, probably should taste it first. That's actually really good. So we'll pour that in. See how thick it is? And then eventually it's all gonna fall down. The raspberries and you're gonna be left with a liquid at the top, which is what you want. Throw the rest of the raspberries in. Do the same thing, heaped full sugar. Another spoonful of raspberry cordial. And then lock it up. Give it a good shake. All right. Give it a good taste. Oh yeah. All right. I reckon that's ready. So, oh, you'll have the big one. Right. That's the drive, yeah. Nice drive, way. That's good, eh? That's really good. 
Yep. So it's just a, the right amount of sugar. <laughs> Going for a kick. Yeah, it's got a bit of a kick. But the one thing that I'm doing is, we well, actually didn't need this. Um, one thing that I'm doing is, is make sure you, um, neighbors looking at us, what the hell are we doing? One thing you need to do is let this settle. Now, you, you, you can drink this straight away. I mean, you, you can. I mean, Mark, can you drink it straight away? Yeah. I mean, if you want to have a, if you're in an emergency and you need a really good cocktail, this is as perfect as it gets. But again, it's very pulpy. It is, it is more like a thick shake than vodka, but the vodka has been in the freezer for the past two days, so it's, it's become a little bit thicker. What you want is you want that, all that pulp and raspberry to drop. And then what you'll have is you'll have that liquid. Now, you can use a strainer to speed up the process if you want. I like, I like the thickness, I like the pulp and I like the, um, the raspberries. So I let it sit and then I use the raspberries for shakes and, um, sorry, not for shakes, <laughs> sorry, manager. Uh, <laughs> I, I use the raspberries for like ice cream and, and things like that. So you've got like your little liqueur on top of your ice cream. Um, and then you've got your shots out of the clear liquid if that's what you want as well. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very simple process, probably again, 10 minutes worth of um, making, five minutes of preparing. It's really, really simple. Um, obviously, bottle of Sopleta in Australia costs about $50 a bottle, which is ridiculous. It's about 10 zwarte um, per, per small bottle in Poland. So this is a really cheap way of making your own flavored vodkas. And you can do this with lemon, honey, anything that you want. Just need sugar, some cordial mix, raspberries, good quality vodka. As I said, I use Marlboro, made in New Zealand, really good quality vodka. It's really, really simple. I hope you stay safe these holidays. Subscribe, like, and share. There are some crazy, crazy vlogs coming up because we are really bored. So we're gonna be doing some crazy stuff. Nazdrovia.